Hi guys, so today I went on Facebook and I asked you what model you would like to be seen reviewed, and a lot of you answered the 2012 Sun Yachtux Colt, so that's what I'm doing today. So here I have the matte version and the glossy version. They're a bit brighter in person. He's actually darker than Child Star. You can see Child Star has a bit lighter coat in this lighting. Now personally, I found that the glossy actually had a lot better shading. <laughs> So first, we're going to talk about the matte version. The matte version is just an OF regular run briar, and he can be picked up at basically any store, and he's very cheap. I bought mine for $17 on Amazon.com. I can include a link to that sales page in the description of this video if you would be interested in purchasing him. So he's a regular run, you can purchase him anywhere. So that is him. He's a dark bay, he has one little pastern and a star on him. Now to the Glossy Zenyatta's Colt. This run is a run uh, limited to 500 pieces. Mine is number 30 something. I found that they have a bit lighter shading than the other one. You can see mine looks a bit tippy from the front. You had to purchase them on pre-sale on the Zenyatta shop. Uh, which is Zenyatta's actually official website. The glossies are currently going for anywhere to $130 to $150 on eBay, new in box at the moment. So now that you've got the basics of these models, I'm going to go into the flaws of the mold in general and as well as just the model. So with every glossy, there is always that dust that gets trapped under the gloss so that may appear on some models. I was lucky enough that it did not happen to mine. Of course, when you buy the Jill and Mold, which only stands on three feet, you can see that these hind legs are raised. You can see their middle feet are raised. So those legs do not actually touch the ground, making them a bit more unstable. They have a couple mold flaws, which of course being that they have warped legs. So a lot of the Jill and Molds, you'll see this on any model, it occurs within the Heartbreakers and the Child Stars and just all of those in general, they always have those warped front legs. Mine seemed to stand okay, but I had to um, put little pegs and stuff in the shelf so that their legs would all stand perfectly. Now I'm going to be discussing different breeds that you could show your models as. These are just simple suggestions, there are so many breeds. I show mine mainly as a Wilkopolsky. Um, and a Tursk. You can also show them as thoroughbreds, though I like to go into more warm bloody type. I've seen sh people show them as Dutch warm bloods and American warm bloods and just different warm blood and European breeds that are a lot lighter. I mainly show mine as a Wilkopolsky and a Tursk. You could show them as Holsteiners. So those are just some suggested breeds for you. All in all, I adore this mold, and I definitely adore this model because I love dark bays, and just the simplicity of them adds to it a lot. They have the most adorable little faces, and they're so cute, and I just love them. So if you get the chance to, I would definitely pick up a matte or a glossy one. There's not one that I recommend over the other, though the mattes are good for movies if you like movie making simply because they're cheap. Subscribe like, comment, all that fun stuff, and I hope you guys are having a good day, and maybe there'll be more reviews in the future. Love you guys. Bye!